Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today we're going to play Odessa Bulga. <laughs> Odessa Bulga is one of my favourite klezmer tunes. It's great for playing slow and it's great for playing fast. And you can play it both in a lower octave and an upper octave. So I'm going to show you um, both versions and I'll show you a lot of the different ornaments that you can use as well. You might ask, what is a Bulgar? It's very similar to a Freilex, um, basically a fast, up-tempo dance tune. Um, one of the main differences is that the backing rhythm will often do a We'll often do that, and this is a, a slightly more modern type of tune, as in late 19th century rather than early to middle 19th century. Um, it's the kind of tune that was popularly played in America in the 20th century, and the Bulgar, it refers only very loosely to Bulgaria. It certainly doesn't mean that this is a tune from Bulgaria. If you want to read my book, Exploring Klezmer Fiddle, I go much more deeply into what is a Bulgar as opposed to anything else. So let's go through the, the uh, it's a three part tune, let's go through the A part slowly. And we'll start with the lower octave. trill so I'm resting the second finger right over the first finger and I'm just rocking up and down lightly on the string not playing a distinct trill definitely not doing that uh, so that's a vibrato trill now this is what's called a crest so I'm playing the notes and as the bow stops uh, the forefinger is coming down and just disturbing the note right at the end. And the same with the first finger. So we've got to repeat, uh, then let's do this slowly. this section with a rest, two, three, four, one, and I'm doing two bows up, uh, one down, one, two, three, four, one, and then a downward glissando, which is a common ornament, a um, crest there, Thank mm -hmm. you. 
position and do that or you could do a, a vibrato trill right on the notes on an open D. Third section Vibrato trills on the open D if you want, uh, and uh, on the first finger. Then we go um, back to the first section again. harmonics which is good when you're playing slow and low basically the ghost harmonics you get simply by reducing the downward pressure of the bow if you start really slow this will be great on the first section To the album um, Fiddle by uh, Alicia Svigels, then you can hear um, all of these demonstrated really well, particularly uh, she does the um, ghost harmonics uh, in a very <laughs> convincing way. So I'm going to play through um, A, B, C, A again with the backing. <laughs> D minor klezmer tunes you can play it up an octave and um, hopefully you won't need it written out of the octave but I've done that anyway um, so first section <laughs> see that as you go up the octave you get a whole different set of open string drones and ornaments which you can do and a lot of the ornaments work better in the upper octave so an open A is going to work well over almost all of the first line and the 
the downward glissando, glissandos work best in, in this range, those notes. general rule for all klezmer tunes. So uh, what I would do regarding octaves um, probably is every time do the lower octave once round let's say the A section and on the repeat go up and do the higher octave go down again for the B section lower octave repeat on the higher octave and so on and that gives you all the variety and one time round the tune might be enough if you're going to start really slow, you can speed up gradually, which is what I really like to do. Um, and of course, the ornaments you can do differently every time. That's the great thing about having a good uh, armory of ornaments and uh, a good mastery of them, that you can uh, vary the thing every single time you do it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to play you out with um, full speed and uh, AABA. If you want a copy of the dots then do send me an email, um, subscribe and I'll send you a copy. And don't forget to check out my book uh, Klezmer Fiddle Tunes which has, I can't remember, 140 something like that tunes in it and uh, a pretty thorough history of all of the music and the background to it. See you again soon.